Hi, welcome back to Sunday Talk and Tea with Shannon Marie, also known as Ascension Girl. I appreciate you being here. Today is November 7th, 2021, and I'm here today with a message. Today, we're going to talk about something kind of heavy, but the conversation needs to happen. So before we begin with our tea and our talk, we are going to clear the space. Today we're talking about Travis Scott and his Astro World Tour concert. Today we're going to be talking about Travis Scott and his Astro World concert that went horribly wrong. We're going to have a deeper conversation about that today. But first, But first, we're going to clear the energy and we're going to create this beautiful sacred space for us to have a heavenly conversation, to bring in heavenly energy into our space, into us, and we're going to be radiating that into our lives as we move out of this space. So, buckle up. Get ready. So sage is a cleansing, cleansing smoke. This is an ancient practice. And I enjoy burning sage. I like to burn other things that also clear energy. particles of the smoke attach on to negative energies, heavier energies, and washes it away, sends it away, sends it back to source to be transmuted into higher energies. So here we are, here I am, in the physical burning sage, but in the spiritual we are cleansing the energy. We are clearing the space that is unseen around us and within us. This sage cleansing is multidimensional. It's happening here, but it's also happening there. But there is here. That's its own deeper conversation. But allow me to send this energy, this cleansing of energy, to all corners of the earth. all corners of the earth. It's happening right now. Do you feel it? I know you see it. But do you feel it? I feel it. We're creating heaven on earth. That's the goal. So everything we do is a step forward towards that which is creating heaven on earth. It's happening. It's happening and I know it sounds really far-fetched to really have a conversation, to really have a conversation and hear someone say to you that we are actively in this very moment 
creating heaven on earth by who we are becoming, who we are, and what we do. What we do with our time, what we do with our energy, individually and collectively. It sounds crazy to think that we are actually creating heaven on earth, but we are. I made some notes for this video, so I, I'm going to be referencing them at different points. Um, so just the wording of a certain thing, of, of a few things, I, I really wanted to just keep the integrity of that. So there's a bigger picture that we all need to need to see and really take a look at and do and begin the process of analyzing what what's happening what it is that we're seeing. And oh my gosh, hi, welcome to Sunday Talk and Tea with Shannon Marie, also known as Ascension Girl. Ascension Girl, that, that's smoke in my throat. So my name is Shannon Marie, and I'm here on this planet to assist humanity move, to move through this planetary phase that we are in and moving through called ascension and i am ascension girl i've come with a message so sit down with me let's have a cup of tea and let's talk mm. this tea that i have here today is a vanilla chai. This is a vanilla chai. Thank you to this tea for supporting this moment, for supporting my body. This tea is so good. Oh, this is so delicious. Okay, so we... Um... I'm... Oh, I'm so... Okay, I just received a text message. And I had no reason having that reaction. I... I'm here to talk about something very serious, actually. But I feel I'm grateful for this mood that I'm in and just the current moment, status of my life, this very moment right now. I'm very happy. It's been a while since I've been this happy and it's really an honor to share that, to share the energy of what this is, of what this looks like at this point in my journey. And it's so crazy to think about where I was five years ago, living such a different life, feeling really, truly unhappy in a lot of areas of my life. But I just feel so blessed um, just to have the life that I do and to have become who I've become and to be moving towards the things that I'm moving towards. So anyway, that personal thing out of the way. Um, I got very distracted by that, but I'm, it, it's, a, it's all a happy, positive thing. So allow me to jump back into the conversation, though, where I was actually introducing myself. So yeah, so I'm Ascension Girl, um, here to help humanity and planet Earth move through Ascension. This ascension is, this ascension that we are experiencing on planet Earth right now is something called an embodied ascension. An embodied ascension where the planet herself is moving forward into realms of light, heaven, essentially, in her body. She's not leaving her body and, move, and just her energy, her soul is moving. 
her body is going there too. And that is what's happening with humanity. Humanity is also ascending into realms of light, pure light, divine light, God, God energy. Humanity, we are moving into that. And we're taking our bodies with us. Yeah, we're taking our bodies with us. And this process is called ascension. But this this specific um, wave of ascension that's happening, the shift in energy, this one is called embodied ascension. Thus, we must embody the divinity that we are. We are to embody the energy of our higher soul in our physical bodies right now. So if you're not focused on setting the intention and connecting with your higher self and bringing that energy down into your body and into your life and into the world, then you need to shift your energy to make that happen. Do you hear me? You, it's time to focus on connecting to your soul and being embodied, divinely embodied because we are moving through an embodied ascension. We are taking these vessels with us. That's why it's so important to take care. Take care in the most genuine, authentic, loving way. Taking care of yourself, nurturing your life, and the world. The world needs your loving, but you have to give it to yourself first. So that's all about ascension. The focus on feeding our, ourselves, our lives, and the world with positive loving energy, pure loving energy. That being said, this is the, transi the transitional point in this conversation. I'm talking about all the heavenly, beautiful things that the truth of our lives, the truth of our existence, unlike the lies that they have told, that we are insignificant and not all those amazing things, I'm telling you all about the positive. We are so powerful. We are all holders of divine light and we're here on this planet for a purpose. We're not just here to have fucked up lives and whatever all of these negative experiences, all that's for a purpose because we're feeling, experiencing the darkness within us to place our awareness on it and to release it. And that's how things get healed. Shit. And that's how things get healed. So we are essentially, what's energetically speaking, we are lifting the negative energy out of us, allowing, opening up space and allowing divine pure light energy to be brought in and to that be the, the placeholder within you. So... We are all holders of light. And this is the transitional sentence right here. Portion. This is where we pivot. Um, the importance of us knowing what I just said. The importance of humanity whoever it is that needs to wake up to this information right now. You recognizing these things is vital for the future of our planet. You need to wake up spiritually and recognize who the fuck you are as a divine child of God. That needs to happen because 
this is the this is the wording that I wanted to say. It is important for you to understand that we are under attack and we have been at war for lifetimes. And now is the time to wake up to this truth. Let's make a goal. Let's set an intention to collectively and individually move through this situation that we're in um, in the most aware, um, what, what did I say? Move through with awareness and grace. Let's set the intention that through whatever it is that we're experiencing, and if you don't subscribe to what I'm, how I'm explaining it, but you know there's something going on, perfectly fine. As long as you understand that something is going on. We're experiencing all these trials and tribulations, and we're experiencing all of these wild things on the planet. Politics, environmentally, with the animals, what will... Oh my gosh, commercialized farming, industrialized farming. I mean, with every single aspect of our lives, it's been infiltrated. And we, I, yeah, I said something about that too. So the, the power structures have been infiltrated. Thus, the power structures that are in place are infiltrated by the dark forces. So essentially... What did I did I say that we're in a we're essentially in a fight between light and dark, light, God, dark, the other guy, some people call him the devil, Satan. Well, Satan, I guess I don't know from my understanding. Just like Jesus is a son of God, I believe Satan is the son of the devil. But I don't know. I could be wrong. Whatever it doesn't matter. We. Um, are opposing energies, opposing um, goals, opposing intentions, opposing tactics. So it's time that we wake up so that we are moving through this with a higher level of awareness, that an awareness that includes the truth of all things and when I say the truth of all things, I mean the truth of everything that you're supposed to know right now. It's time that we consciously open ourselves up to experience whatever it is that we're meant to experience to the fullest and highest potential and possibility. So, so the conversation that I'm having with you, I'm going to distill it down, is we are so divine. We are innately perfect but we've lived in this world that is, has been infiltrated by dark energy. And that dark energy has infected us in many ways. So it's time that we wake up to these facts. We are light, living in a dark world. The darkness has thus infected humanity, the planet, oh my gosh. And we, the holders of light, it's time our creator is asking us to remove that negative energy out of us, our bodies, out of our lives, and out of the world. This is a public service announcement to humanity. It is time that you wake up to the divinity that you are. Every person, every God created person on this planet is such a gift and is energy medicine for your life, to heal yourself, to heal your life. But almost but as importantly, to heal the world. The future of the world is in our hands. Those healers and light workers and spiritual teachers and holders of light, holders of love, givers of love, teachers of love. 
It is time that we wake up to the truth of who we are. And it is time that we consciously move in a direction that is elevating ourselves, our lives, and the world. Our creator is asking us to elevate ourselves, to elevate our lives, and to elevate the world because darkness has overrun. Darkness came here, infected the planet, infected humanity, and we are now in this place. And to be quite honest with you, I am not shocked that the display of demonic energy was displayed the way that it was at the Travis Scott concert. When we talk about the darkness that has infiltrated this planet and they have different plans and different intentions and different means and different levels to which they will go to negatively affect people to get what they want. When you really look into the Travis, the Travis Scott concert and what happened, and when you hear people's accounts of what happened at that concert, through their eyes, you are able to see what is at play on the planet. And it's that simple. Although it does go way, 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 way deeper than that. The rabbit hole goes so much deeper than what we saw. Um, I don't think it's... I don't think it's a random coincidental fact that this concert happened the day after the new moon these two days of the this event um november 5th november 6th the new moon or wait am i am was the the full moon was i think okay the full moon was a couple days prior to i think it was the day before because it was Saturday and Sunday, so the 4th, yes. So, the first day and the second day, or it, the event was two days. The Astral World um, Music Fest was two days. The day after the new moon. And then, so, I just I just brought that up because I feel like the, the dark forces, essentially, they, they, they work with the energies of the, of the planet. They have siphoned the energy of the planet they've oh my gosh oh, that's a different conversation but the way that they've just like abused our planet the way that they have just stripped her of all of, of her essence for their gain to then systematically suppress all of humanity <laughs> like humanity is essentially we're paying for our own imprisonment and when you look at that concert, I keep looking over here. I see Jesus right here. If you're watching this, you're probably like, oh my God, this bitch is crazy. Uh, I feel him. I feel he <laughs> I feel Jesus and Mary. And I have not felt this. I have not felt them this strong in a long time. My, I just, I feel like I just want to go over there, but... They're just, they're here very, very much supporting this moment. So, um, oh, that's funny. I wonder how many people are going to check out at that point. Like, what is, what did she, what is wrong with her? <laughs> Jesus and Mary. Hmm. But the truth is, when you are aligned and speaking the truth of what is, we're supported. This is what God wants. God wants these conversations to happen. They, they want me to be saying these things. And they want you to spread the conversation. And they will spread the conversation. 
And that's how things will shift. It's first having a conversation, sharing energetic practices, which I'll be sharing soon, to to release the darkness and bring in light. And then you walk around as a light being during your fucking day. Like, how boss is that? We're literally becoming our higher selves in our bodies right now. And, yeah. Anyway, I feel like I'm kind of all over the place, but I'm also saying what needs to be said. So just ride, ride the wave with me. Let's just ride, okay? Let's just ride the wave. So I'm going to grab some tea. I feel like I was saying 25 different things. But the last thing I was saying, Jesus and Mary were here. And they, they have always been very supportive of me and the work that I've done, spiritual work. Um, but more on them later. I just, I feel like I keep looking over here. My energy is being drawn over there. I'm wanting to go like play and hang out, but I'm here. They're just there being supportive. And I also feel my grandmother over here, Stella Marie. She's so beautiful. Hold on. Pause. This is my show, so I can, this is fine. I can just say whatever I want. So just hang, hang on one second. That was awesome. Hold on, hold on. Mama. All right, I want you to meet someone. I want you to meet someone. All right, this, ladies and gentlemen, is my grandmother, Stella Marie, who is standing right there, I can feel her. Do we look similar? I've, I've always looked like her. Anyway, she, when she passed, this is definitely on another, on, on another tangent, but when she passed, no, I'll tell that story later at a different, at a different date. Um, okay, so she's here, Jesus and Mary. I feel my other, I feel my angels around me and this is so funny because my intention before I had this conversation was to call everybody in I was practicing it earlier actually I was practicing like okay and then I'm gonna say this and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do my sage and then I'm gonna call in uh, connect to my higher self and then I'm gonna um then I'm gonna call in Jesus and Mary and then I didn't even think about my grandmother in this but hey girl hey and then I was like, and then I'm going to call in my angels and all of my spiritual guides and like build up this layer of protection around me, divine spiritual connection, um, protection, while I'm connected to my higher self so I can have, um, so I can be connected to my higher self and open up that channel and just freely flow in a safe place. Because oftentimes we do these beautiful heart opening soul expanding energetic exercises essentially without being in a safe space and so energies are able to come in and like that's why it's important not to do drugs like really heavy drugs because it opens you up without you really realizing it and especially at bars i've seen when i like when i used to drink back in college a little bit after that, but I would, I would energetically see in bars negative energies sitting, like, floating up at the ceiling, waiting for people to get drunk, get to that level where they are not completely in their own body, where they're just open and loosey-goosey, and they're able to come in. That's why people get so angry a lot of times when they are angry drunks. 
because they are constantly they're addicted to which they're helping solidify and strengthen this addiction within you because every night you drink you get fucked up you open yourself up and they're able to inhabit your body this is a fucking war that we're that we're living these these people didn't come to play they came to reign dominion over earth they have essentially stole earth and her energy her essence and that's what they have done to humanity and it's time that we wake up to that and shift it that's all we have to do is shift our energy and this concert so many people there were able to see they they said they said i heard them say multiple people i felt like we were at the gates of hell the the way that the stage was set up okay the way that the stage was set up the animations there was fire there was one moment the fire there was four on each side of the stage there were four um columns of fire so imagine like this on each side of the of the thing of the stage at one point there was graphics being played behind it there was these flames coming up and i get it you're in the crowd it's exciting all this big bigger bigger than life animations and graphics and his head is huge the dreads or whatever the braids coming down it's like oh my god this is it's like fucking disneyland for gen zers but like in the best way for them because this man travis scott inspires so many people and this one man that was speaking about he was there he was speaking about the awful experience he had how devastated he is how broken and hurt he is after witnessing what happened there people dead bodies in front of him multiple people had had that experience they um they oh my god what was i gonna say they yeah they they're creative these kids are creative and this one specific guy he is a rapper or a singer i think rapper and he said i heard him say he said travis scott i was really influenced by him listen to my music but he's like being at that concert i saw that this is not for me you guys this is not for us he it's it's like a bait and switch he's so cool he's so this his music is so this it draws you in but little do you know you're being sucked in and your energy is being siphoned that's what that's what they're doing it for they're siphoning energy and when people are saying it was a satanic ritual that he was in fact facilitating and those that died were the sacrifices human sacrifices and if you think for one second that the elite of this world are not doing shit like that do not wholeheartedly believe in satan and they satan worship most all celebrities they had to have given themselves sold their soul to the industry to receive the status that they are currently in no globally known famous artist is pure-hearted a god created human still to this day i highly don't agree with that statement i would say lower level celebrities i don't think that they really had to i think some of them have even like youtubers it's fucking crazy man it's so crazy the world that we're living in the world that we see is not what we see and so we're at war i feel like i've said a million different things but in this moment i want to bring it back to we are at war between the light and the dark and we need to wake up to who we are recognize that this shit this travis scott's Travis Scott concert that is not for us if you have a pure heart and if you know that you are a child of God and you're connected to God in some way and that you're here alive your purpose of 
of existence is to do God's work. If you know that, that shit is not for you. And if you've been giving yourself to that and connecting to that and feeding from it, just know, honey, that they are feeding off of you. And the end goal is for them to sacrifice you and steal your energy. Do you know that when you listen to their music, even Beyonce, when you listen to her music, she, I love Beyonce. I fucking love her. I grew up on her. She is everything. But she is not the same Beyonce that we knew in Destiny's Child. Bill's early days were the pure, just so, oh my gosh. But what it transformed into. Don't be stupid. And I don't want to be disrespectful because if you believe that, oh my God, she's a goddess. Jay-Z, oh my God. Like the world that they, that they really, the energy that they're really holding. Yuck. Fucking yuck. It's gross. It's, and, and on one hand, on one hand, like I get it. Okay. This is how, this is how life is playing out on earth. These celebrities, that was, that was the goal. That was for this experience. A lot of the influencers of the world have given their energy over to the darkness. There's one part of me that's like, or most of me feels like, okay, I know that that needs to happen. This is just how everything's playing out. It needs to happen this way. Okay, a big, big, big part of me knows that and understands that that's obviously just how it's supposed to be. But then there's a little part of me. I feel that there's so much energy in my body, I can't. (laughs) Okay, but there's this other part of me that is so fucking mad at these celebrities for conning so blatantly and, and misguiding so fucking blatantly the, the masses and it just it pains me again on one hand not really because I know that that's how it's supposed to happen but on, on another hand it pains me that people really fall into it and people f- fully give themselves to like celebrities or like so many people if they met a celebrity they would just have sex with them (laughs) just because they're who they are what what you're gonna sleep with that person just because they're a celebrity you don't know anything about them they don't know anything about you that's so But again, that's just how things are. People are supposed to go so far into the darkness and so far disconnected from God that they're going to be catapulted back to that side. And many people that went to the Travis Scott concert is being catapulted because they see what the fuck is really going on. That one of the biggest stars in the world. This is the experience that he's giving to his people. Hmm. Kind of makes you think. So, and the stuff that... I feel like I want to make another video talking about the actual stuff that these people said. That they experienced and saw at the fucking concert. Because when you when you look at the whole list of details, it's like, what the fuck? For real? They're getting that bold? <laughs> for real? No, for real. Like, they're really fucking serious. This is the kind of stuff they're doing. So anyway, I want to end this. I feel like I've been talking for a really long time. And there's so much energy in my body. I feel like I can't stay still. I feel like my hands can't stop moving. I feel like I can't stop looking around. It feels good. It feels like this is like heaven energy. High yourself. When you don't know how to control it, you know, completely. And like, there's moments when I can control it. And it's like, it's easeful and beautiful and smooth and but there's sometimes when I just get blasted and I remember the first time that I realized that I that these were energy centers I was young and I remember just feeling a big burst of divine energy in my body and then I felt 
I felt, I felt it. I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. Just kind of exploring like the facets of that experience. And what I now have access to was just really amazing to have God energy in my body like that was crazy. But then I, I remember feel, I had my hands on my lap and I remember feeling heat where my palms were on my, on my thighs. Wait, that's really getting hot. So I lifted my hand up and I felt energy. It was like like a firefighter's hose. I felt energy just blasting out of my hands. I was like holding it and I felt like, I was like, oh my God. I could feel it. It was, and I started bawling after this experience because I'm like, did that really just happen? And I was like, wait, I just really fierce, physically literally had this experience of ener divine energy in my body. I don't feel that normally. But then the realization of that's healing energy, that's God's energy. And I have access to that all the time. I have access to that healing energy all the time. I was fucking bawling. <laughs> I wrote about it. I wrote about everything. All my spiritual experiences I have documented somewhere. I'm going to write a lot of books and teach a lot of stuff. I was going to say shit. How, how are you going to teach a lot of spiritual shit? Well, I mean, fuck it. I am who I am. Okay, so I just want to look through. <laughs> I feel crazy. I'm really going to share this video. This video is the first real peek at who I am. You know, the, the stuff I post is, is authentic, 100%. But they're just little pieces. Every post that I've made, every video that I've made, every picture I've posted, those are just little small facets, small aspects of who I am as a... As a oof, the richness of my soul in this body right now. Um, I'm just feeling, yeah, this, all of those pieces equal this, like, on a video, just animated, you know, who I am, talking to you, how I would talk to a friend. Um, and this is the first time I've actually felt comfortable talking into the camera. Almost every other time I've ever made any video, I've been so uncomfortable. I've looked at videos in the past of myself and I look at it and I'm like, you just, it like, it's not, it's not easy for me. It doesn't feel good to like share myself, but it feels good right now. I feel like I'm being my true self talking about all the stuff that I love to talk about. I just like having spiritual conversations. That's why I can't get along with everybody because everybody doesn't get this you know, kind of a conversation, you know? They don't get, I don't know, I can't have surface conversations and some people, that's just where they're at and that's fine. So I think that's why I spend a lot of time alone. I spend a lot of time in silence because while I'm, I am quiet, my, it's like this closes and this opens and I'm connected to the divine and my higher self and it's amazing. Anyway, I feel like I've been talking for a long time. So I'm going to bring it back into this moment and just look over my notes. Share with you any pieces that I didn't share yet. But I think that I have said most of the good things. Okay, so the big picture. Um, it's important for you to understand that we are under attack. We've been at war for lifetimes. And now it's time to wake up to it slash this truth make a goal to move through with awareness and grace that's one little thing the next thing because the alternative is the dark forces winning this war what winning the war this will happen if people don't wake up to this truth and the power within so that's that's one thing i didn't fully say earlier i was explaining how on one hand what i was sharing in the beginning all about the positive 
the divine, the divinity we hold, the divine that we're connected to, just the divinity and purity that we are. I said that fast. The divinity and the purity that we are innately, that is one part of the conversation. The bridge is where we are now, where we're going, and what we need to do to make sure that we don't go down this way, but we go down this way. And this other world is the dark world, controlled, fed by the dark forces. So this, the light that we hold, is connected to God. The dark energy is connected to the devil, Satan. And the bridge for us who are light beings and the planet who is a light being herself, for all of us to not get sucked into the darkness, we need to release the darkness out of who we are out of our lives and out of the world so that we can shine as bright as we came here to fucking do. We are all holders of light and we came here to shine so bright. But it's impossible to do that if we're holding on to so much darkness and so much negativity. In a big way, I want to say this, a big way that we are holding on to darkness and heaviness and just dark energy, it's happening in the form of thought forms. People have certain a certain set of beliefs. They're lower vibrational. They're not the truth. But they believe so strongly in this. They hold that. And that's essentially making up the energy that they're holding. Because what you think is what you feel. And what you feel is a reflection of what you think. So if, those, if that is the, the paradigm that you're coming from, then the energy, the emotions that you're holding are reflective of that. And if that is a low vibrational set of beliefs equaling a um, set of uh, energy, collective energy of all of that, then your emotional state, your feelings will reflect that low vibrational shit. But when you hold the truth, divinity, love, purity, authenticness, authenticity, when you hold that, it's the opposite. So, yeah, we came here to shine super bright. Okay, the power structures have been infiltrated people um oh yeah people at the at the travis scott concert people were saying that it had a demonic atmosphere oh my god another thing i don't want to say oh my god oh my goddess or oh my goodness people were saying that the entire day from morning to night or whenever it started until evening that there was this constant low vibrational humming that was being played underneath the music that, that they were blasting. And even underneath Travis Scott as he was performing, this low energy vibrational frequency hum, people were like, that, that made me feel weird. Like that didn't, he said, um, yeah, he said that that didn't make him. He said it. I wrote it. I wrote it down on, on another page. I think he said it wasn't enjoyable. It felt like I don't know. I'll come back and make another video about stuff that people said. Anyway, um, so yeah, I made this last note. They're getting real bold, and so so I want to clear this up actually now. So you know when I say light forces and dark forces. I'm talking strictly energy. Light is what God is. Darkness is what the other, the, the opposing energy of that. I'm not talking skin color. I'm not talking anything else but energy. And as a way to manipulate your brain, 
and shift your thinking from a high vibrational energy understanding set of beliefs instead of having the truth and high vibrational thoughts about th thought about that they brought this concept down into the physical form and used those two things light versus dark they placed those on the bodies of humans the existence of humans as their as their argument so they wanted to reinforce the fact that light is good because they know the truth light is good dark is bad so they imprinted this understanding this disbelief this belief onto people onto humanity so around a lot of the world the consensus is that if you're darker skinned you are lower than a, a lighter skin person so i want to make it very clear that when i say dark energy dark forces light energy light forces i'm not talking about skin color at at, at all and if you actually want to know my thoughts on the darker skin tone i believe that there is magic in melanin there is pure magic within melanin within the melanin of our skin and those that are not i believe that we black people are actually native to the americas i i believe that my lineage i am from this land i'm from the u.s we were the original Indians. I fully believe that. I do believe that there were some slaves that were brought over from Africa, but I do not believe that all black people are African Americans. I do not believe that. That's a controversial statement, but I, I fully believe that. And um, I think I wanna come back and talk about that also. Just things were twisted. The history that we know, the history that we were taught in schools, fucking lie flipped on its fucking head. It's all opposite from what we learned as truth. So anyway, I feel like I've been talking for a really long time. I want to go take a bath and heat up my tea because it's cold now. So I said, they're getting real bold and I'm referring to the dark forces here and now. They thought they had everyone hypnotized. That's what they felt. The people that were at the show, they felt like they were being hypnotized by every, the music, the sounds, the, the visuals, in addition to feeling like they were sitting at the gates of hell. So this is the environment that they set up for these people, um, which reflects their beliefs. I believe that Travis Scott is probably a Satanist. I, I, I don't believe he probably is. I believe, I'm gonna say it with my fucking chest, I believe that Travis Scott is a Satanist and what people experienced at his concert was very intentional. Um, take a look at the settings, at the setting, the music, the sounds they were playing, the, the setup of the venue, what they allowed to happen on so many different levels so many different parts of the day, parts of the, the week, that weekend, or the second day didn't happen, but people had a lot of red flags. And after that first day when all that happened, people went home not knowing that so many people died. And they're saying that eight people died, 11 people died. I heard people, I watched videos of people about to cry saying, I saw 10 people over here. I saw hundreds of people dead. I saw hundreds of bodies laying on the ground. Multiple people said this, but the news is saying, yeah, eight. Oh, no, 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 it's been a day. No, 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 it's been two days. It wasn't eight people, it was 11 people. We're waking up to the truth of what the fuck is happening in the world. For many people, this will be the first big thing where they can see light and dark at play. And more importantly, right now for this conversation, 
they need to see how darkness is at play because then they can understand how the how they're interfacing with the world and why they're interfacing with the things that they're interfacing with. It's all demonic. It's all satanic. Are you awake to it? Or are you being sucked in? And they're consuming your energy. Or are you waking up? And then and thus consuming your own energy. Engaging with your own energy. Stop looking to the outside for the answers. Baby, it's within. It is within. Because when you allow yourself quiet space to connect to yourself and your soul, you open channels. You open divine channels, honey, and you have connection to your fucking soul, to heaven, to Jesus, to your grandparents who passed last year. Anyway, I've been talking a long time. There is a group of us on earth. Ah, this is what I'm going to end on. There is a group of us on earth that came here specifically during this lifetime while all of these demonic and dark things are going on to fucking save the world. Oh, I have a minute left, okay. Yeah, basically we came here to save the world. Lightworkers, I love you, you're amazing and we're here to wake up, recognize that we're here for 144. We're here for a bigger purpose and let's start focusing our energy on waking up, clearing ourselves out, bringing in light, aligning with our souls, and acting that way in our lives, in our daily lives. Loving people. They said the people at this concert, that they were like hypnotized. No one did anything. Just a few people. People saw people passed out, breathless. People were squished face to face. And they were, they were like, they suffocated to death, a lot of these people. They were face to fucking face, body to body. The people could not breathe. So when people would turn their head, they would see people lifeless, just swaying in the crowd. Some wild shit happened, man. Wake up to what's really going on in the world. And this is just one little, little situation. It's happening fucking everywhere. Food, water, entertainment. Oh my God, it's disgusting. Stripping of the natural resources of the planet. I got 44 seconds. I love you. I'm so excited. I feel like this is my true self. This is the stuff I want to talk about. I've been so scared because it's kind of wild, but fuck it. This is who I am. I love you. We're here to save the world and create heaven on earth. Let's end on these beautiful flowers. I made this arrangement. See, I'm here to bring beauty to the world. This is the kind of stuff I love doing. And let's pray for a better day. Let's pray that we wake the fuck up, step into our divine roles, our divine selves, and let's heal the world and let's create heaven on earth. Seven seconds. Bye. I'm just going to end it. Bye.